Using Title 3D within Final Cut Pro is an easy way to create dynamic looking titles with some type on style animation. To do this, navigate to the Viewer window and click on the Generators button. Then choose Boris Title 3D. Now move back to the Viewer window and click on the Controls tab. Then click here where it says Click for Options to launch the Title Tool window. Go ahead and type your title and make whatever adjustments necessary for its size and color. Press the Apply button when you're finished. Next, click on the Video tab within the Viewer window. Then specify a duration that you'd like for your title. OK, let's go ahead and edit the title on top of some video within the Timeline window. Then double click on the title to reload it back into the Viewer window. In the Viewer window, click back onto the Controls tab. I'm going to drag the Controls tab from the Viewer window into the Timeline as its own Window tab. This will give you the extra space needed so you can see the keyframe graph. Press the keyboard shortcut Command Equals or Command Plus to expand the clip area for the keyframe graph. Scroll down through all the different parameters and look for the Text Type On parameter. Make sure your playhead indicator is roughly one second from the start of the clip. Then click this Insert Keyframe button for the Text Type On parameter. Now move the playhead indicator to the front of the clip area. Set the Type On parameter back to 0. Now move over to the Fade parameter and slide its value all the way to 0. You can also set the Reveal Time parameter to allow more than one character at a time to fade up. For an added effect, go ahead and adjust the scale for X and Y parameters. OK, go ahead and render the effect by pressing the keyboard shortcut Option R. After it's rendered, go back and watch the sequence. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training course, visit GeniusDV.com.